hi guys welcome back to my channel um today i am doing um basically i just got this diaper bag i'm sure you know from my previous video from like my baby haul um i'm just gonna now officially like open i have opened it i mean you don't see it in like the original packaging but i am going to fill it because i want to prepare for like when i do need it for the baby after the hospital also I'm going to, I have another diaper bag system that in my previous video you'll see that I received, I bought, no my husband bought this for me, um, the Tote Savvy. So I'm going to do basically everything that I'm going to pack in my Rilo bag, I'm going to show you how I pack it in my, what is this called, Longchamp bag. So that's my other option. But first, I'm going to pack it in my Ryla bag. Not you. Only wear one. What? Only the wear one. Okay. I want you to hear it. Okay. So, literally, um, I've been using my long champ bag for like work and everyday use. Um, so I've been using that. So, but today I'm gonna pack it as if I'm doing a diaper bag. But first, we're gonna go through my Riley bag because this is what's exciting. Um, let me fix this. My son wanted me to wear it. Okay. So, opening. That's what I wear. You're gonna wear it? Yeah, I think okay. it'll be better for you. Yeah, so you can hear it. Okay, so op officially like going through my diaper bag opening my diaper bag for the first time really i mean i did check it out but i didn't remove anything so opening up would be the mommy bucket so in the see i still had like this stuff in. so in there it does throughout the bag it does come up with these cards it says mommy pocket they suggest the one pocket for you and only you and they have like examples so in front of me I have my AirPods, things that I would normally take like day to day like that I would need, pack of gum, a chapstick, I literally cannot leave that house without a chapstick, my keys, so so far so good, it's fitting a lot, my card holder, and what makes my bag so heavy is my change purse and my sunglasses but I can fit that anywhere so I'm just gonna wait on that and toothpicks so close that one up literally I have like this I'm not gonna remove just until like my bag is already heavy because that change bag let me take it out so I can lift it up okay so I'm not going to remove this until I actually am going to start using it. Look at the hardware. It's so pretty. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so opening it up. Um, let's see. So opening up, you will see that it comes with those black cards for examples which is really cool just in case like it's your first time mommy you're just not sure what to do i'm going to take the middle piece out which is a plastic and it's a changing kit that comes with this came in here i had to take it out because i was like what is this so this a changing pad in here the changing kit here is the card so it is wrap up your diapers and wipes with the wet bag for the perfect on-the-go changing kit. So in front of me, which I'm going to dump this, are newborn diapers. Of course, like I don't know like how, what's the size of um, my son going to actually be. So what I'm going to, I'm just going to use the newborn ex for an example. And then if he obviously needs something bigger, like the size one automatically, then I will change it. So diapers. I just want to also see how everything fits. So, so far, so good. And then I'm going to pack one, two, three, four, five, at least five diapers. 
I don't know how that. Okay. I'm not a hundred percent like crazy about this look like this. I don't think I'm going to use it, but they did suggest this as a wet bag. Um, I don't mind maybe keeping my diapers in here. I don't know how I'm going to pack if I'm going to pack it like this. But as a wet changing clothes, like if he goes through his onesies and things like that, I don't mind throwing it in here because it's so it doesn't touch anything. But as far as like using it as for wipes and diapers, I probably won't do it. I may just carry the plastic and maybe throw it in the back pocket, which I will show you. So outside of the bag so you have the my pocket in the front then you have this long zipper pocket which their example is tablet safe pocket a safety pocket for is discreet and perfect for your valuables um, passport it looks like a wallet and it's and like an iPad my son has his iPad so I don't need to carry that um, my wallet I can throw back there but like again I can keep that in here Not a big deal. It's if it fits. Yep. So it fits long ways. Really good. So going back to the inner side, this right here says binky pocket. The perfect size for a binky so you're never desperately searching for one. So this is the card that they use. I do have his, so it has, I bought this, which I do make these myself, but just for an example, I'm going to store that in here. Okay, so that's my first really like item. Next to that pocket, I'm going to pull this out. Anything pocket. Birth cloths, toys, hand sanity. Go crazy with this one. So for that pocket, currently, let me put these cards. Like I literally have everything that I think I would want in my bag. Um, including like examples of outfits. Like I don't, of course, like I got to kind of wait. Okay, so I did get this in a sample, like a free, the, in my previous video I got baby stuff for free. So I'm going to see if these three things fit in there, butt paste, which this will be good together to go in there. Let's see. So far, so good. And then like a lotion, like a miniature lotion. So all three fit in here, which is amazing because that'll be cool to just like keep those together now flipping it over these wish I could like kind of show you a little better these two pockets they're both insulated insulated bottle pocket another for baby or for one of you I guess like if I had a water bottle um, one pocket for me one pocket for baby so these are the two cards that were next to each other. So I'm going to show you, for example, for my bottle, stuffing that in there. Mm -hmm. Then I also, of course, at first, you're always using like an, a four ounce. I'm going to stuff that in there. That one looks like it's more harder to stuff just because of this type of top that I have for that one. But they see how the 8 ounce is different. So I'm going to pull that back out and show you like the different tops that I have. So this is the two style tops. Unless it's the silicone. Let's try it like that. 
because it's really the eight ounce it fit pretty good it's like a little snug but it definitely did fit without the silicone i could just put the silicone in a different pocket it's not a big deal i want to pack this as if i'm like ready to go so two fit then next to that is hard to tell but there's like an elastic one it's not insulated i don't think that comes with a card i think it's just an extra pocket hmm what i can put in there is i'm gonna try hopefully i'm successful with breastfeeding so i do would like to carry some disposable ones so i'll put that in there for me just to kind of tuck it away the other side does not have a po an extra pocket so Going for the last one on the inside. It says zippered pocket. Put snacks and food in this pocket for an easy spill, um, easy cleanup in case of a spill. So they have a spoon, um, baby food. As of right now, I won't need it for baby food. Uh, let me see what I have that I would want in there. I guess a silicone sleeve. I do have a pack of diaper bags. Um, I could actually, well, actually, for right now, I could actually probably put my, yeah, so I'm going to put my diapers in there because I like that it's kind of out of the way. So right now, I'm putting my diapers in there just so, like, it's closed up so that closed up pretty well and then in the middle the pocket diapers that I'm gonna stuff on the side of the that didn't have the pocket and this I think I can put in the bottle okay so this I'm just gonna throw in so I don't have another place to put it and then Example, I don't know what I'm going to take. Let me fix my camera. I don't know what exactly I'm going to take for the baby as far as, like, the outfit and stuff like that. But definitely for sure, bibs. So I'm going to pack two bibs. I'm going to pack a receiving blanket. Um, right now, a larger blanket that I may... Usually with my first son, with my first um, stroller, I always packed, like, a Muslim blanket or like a larger blanket in a zip a big ziploc bag with a change of clothes and i would throw it and just keep it on the bottom of the stroller just to have like an extra no matter like an emergency pair with one diaper a little small pack of wipes and then throughout the season i would change it Mommy, yeah can you help me? so for a change of clothes which again like i don't know what size he's going to be, um, I don't know if I'm actually going to take these outfits. I may have just this on him and then have another outfit for a change. I have a ones, white onesie. Then these two were actually my son's outfit when he was baby, when he was first born. This newborn and this one as well was his when he was a newborn. So just for an example, and I still have to wash it, so I have to take this out when this video is done. So that just putting in the center of pocket along with this and then uh, so that is the bag fully like packed it is pretty heavy and then this just like stuffing that in there so that's the bag fully packed and a pair of socks I always carry, this may be weird, but I always carry nail clippers, even like now for my son and myself. So I've zipped it up. This is the bag. It is pretty heavy. I may get a picture of me actually like wearing it. Um, oh, before I forget, two side pockets, water bottle pocket, and water bottle, a phone pocket. So, and what I like about it is like elastic, so it has elastic for you to stretch it for your water 
or phone and then it kind of like gets pulled back hold on so it has this like elastic so it makes it a stretch and then it pulls back into place what makes it keep it like sleek so this is the Riley diaper bag really 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 nice I'm obsessed it's kind of heavy which I mean I guess it should be love the handles I can't wait to like I'm gonna get a picture of me wearing it and then posting it up but it's nice I'm obsessed so right now I'm gonna empty everything and then try with my tote savvy insert Oh, before I forget, this is something I did with my son. These are all the coupons that I got for, like, with the free boxes that I was um, that I received. So I did this with my son. I always put it in a plastic, and I kept it randomly in the bag, in the diaper, in the stroller, because I'm always going to be out with the stroller. Um, and every time I was in Bye Bye Baby, I opened it up, or I opened up to see if I had a coupon, if everything. If it was in Target, I did the same. Or if I was in, the, you know, just a store, just to kind of, like, you know, help, like, to get a discount with stuff, you know? Um, let me fix this. It's, like, loose right now. So I did that. I always kept that. Uh, maybe I'll put it in the back. So emptying everything right now. Just to try my tote, see how everything fits. Then I think I'm just going to pack. Because I'm going to definitely use, I'm still using my, my, long champ like for work and things like that so i'm not gonna f stuff that bag as a diaper bag yet because i'm still using it for work so everything is pretty much empty now my mommy pocket i do like that it comes with the example cards because it kind of helps you like gives you an idea of how you can and will pack it so fully empty now let's try the tote savvy this is the long champ bag. I mainly got it this year for a diaper bag. But mama wanted to use it early, so. Oh, we need the screw. Where, where did daddy put it? I don't know, but I'm just gonna play my hand. Okay. So this, if you don't know, is a tote savvy. This is the one that's a little more, so this one does not sell in Bye Bye Baby. This one's like, I think I got this from Bloomingdale's or Neiman Marcus, I think, because I had a card on how to use it. So there's two big pockets, a, two small pockets on top of each other, two big pockets side by side. Behind that, is a large which has a large pocket which has like that nice material like the the back pocket of the Ryla I guess like for a tablet and things like that then that's the pocket and so picking it up and I'm gonna fold this to make it easier show is the changing pad super thin which I think I like this one better than the actual other one because yes it's plush and it's probably a nicer feel for the baby but we need to fit more things in the, the back so i do like this one a lot better um for my son i never really used the the diaper the changing pad i always like bought a disposable or I, I got a thin one so this is the other side okay this is why i definitely got this one in the neiman marcus and makes it better is that the hardware is nicer and then it did come with an insulated hold on it's stuck and a bigger solid insulated pouch that's why I got this one next to it is a long pouch on the other side is a huge pouch one large one and then two on top this one's like a mini and then this one's a little bigger and that is on the side of the tablet so this would be the outside which is looks like this like this and then the inside is like that so the tablet part 
is where I would want on my body. Cause like when I when I carry my when I actually carry my this bag as like for work and stuff on all the weekends, I put my son's tablet on my body. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So right in. Even though when they show the video on like how so I'm trying to get comfortable. Try to pack it. They actually pack it without the bag and then they put it like they just insert it. So they have these convenient handles. So you slide it in. So right now it's in the bag. Super thin right now. Okay. So is this the front? Okay. So first the tablet I don't think I need right now. Yeah. This doesn't work. Because it's too big. Daddy has a small one. Coupons, I'm gonna put on the tablet slide pocket. So let me show you what I did. So this one right here, maybe I will do it because it's kind of like flimsy right now. Okay, so the tablet, I threw that in there. Uh, so on the tablet side, that I just put the coupon thing in is a long count, two long pouches, and two small pouches on top. I'm going to put diapers. Let me flip that so it's kind of even. In here. Pack of wipes on the other side so wipes diapers then these two so maybe i'll put because this is the diaper side i can put what are these called baby bum that's spatula with this which would work in handy side by side together That's how that's fitting in there. I may change it just cause it's sticking out. So maybe if I can find another pocket to hold it. Looks like I can probably throw in there the binky, the bobo pacifier, however you call it. So that is in there. So would be closing it up, flipping it. So the insulated pouch. What? I need Doritos. That's spicy. Oh. So you can use this for this, or you can use this pocket for this, depending on like if you're, which I do plan on um, carrying like a Yeti water bottle with hot water um, for the bottles. So I really just want to put formula in here or carry these formula pouches. If I run out and I need, which I can carry that side by side in this pouch. Um, if I don't need those pouches, I'm going to keep formula in here, travel with that, and then just pour the... So, I'm going to pack, put the formula in here that I need, that what I would need, because I would know what my child, how much bottle I'm going to make, um, like formula I would need. So, this will be empty without water, and I will carry the Getty bottle. Okay. So, that's an option. I think I'll probably just do that, because I am trying to breastfeed, so I'm not trying to trying to have luck okay so it's hard i don't know if we could show it from the beginning of the video i have two one pieces a onesie and re um receiving blanket why not put it in the big pouch how i did it with my son my son i will use the skip pop i'm not i'll post the picture here uh, what i did and i did it my way you know you're comfortable with the pockets you're getting so in the insulated right now it's all the outfits just not the bib let me see can i put that actually i think i rather it that way still deciding the bib i'm gonna put on the outer side of right here for now 
I need mommy pockets. So, flipping it on the outside, I do have bibs. I may put the blanket in here. I may put the clothes in here. I'm not 100% sure. But for these two pockets on top of each other, I'm going to put my keys. And on the bottom one, I'm going to put my card case. So, so far, what I decided as of right now, this pouch is my mommy pouch. There's no way I'm going to fit anything. I have my card, my two nail clippers, toothpicks, gums, AirPods, keys, uh, and my card holder. For this, I'm trying to figure this out. Can go with the baby bottle for now because that's the space that I can use because it's not going to be really much that I'm going to need. This little pouch right here in the bottom. This pouch I put the changing the bag, the diaper bag, dirty diaper bags. This one, little pouch down here, I could put a couple of disposable. So as of right now, I basically put everything in here that I used before. So it's fully full. Up. So right now I'm going to stuff the outside. So this is the back, which the back, again, I want the tablet, um, iPod slot, which is the flat one facing my body. So I'm going to stuff this in. And again, like the diaper, the changing pad is on the bottom of the bag. Flipping right in. So that's amazing how that fits. And I still basically have the size of the bag that if I want to throw like the blanket neatly, the other side's pretty roomy and I still have the whole middle that I needed filled. So that, again, I can throw this blanket. I can throw like a bigger tube if I couldn't fit in any of the bags. Um, a pair of socks thrown in there. My sunglasses that I don't have a spot for, which no, wait, actually now I do, because I can put it in with the my mommy stuff. A little thing of lotion, throw in the center. <laughs> so this is basically, two ways of making a diaper bag. So I have the diaper bag where it looks like your regular bag but you have like an insert to help you with packing it like a diaper bag which is really convenient, really helpful because if I don't want to use this like this anymore, I take it out, I store it and then I use it for myself. Then for option two is the diaper backpack which comes with all the pockets already and you know you just want to have your hands free and you want to just throw it on your back this is another option so I'm very excited and with the fact that I'm packing another dive bag I haven't done it in a very long time but I'm really excited and <sighs> so yeah so those two ways Violet backpack and the tote savvy with my long champ bag which that also fits in the never full bag which I do have um, but when the baby's born I'm not gonna be using the never fill bag I have the like the summer light beige blue one um, the checkerboard one so that I'm gonna buy the in the tote savvy insert next year because I'm gonna be using it for the summer <coughs> so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching I'm so happy that I have my two diaper bags ready to go um, thanks for watching please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time. Bye.